Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Incognito Islamic Productions. What does it mean that Allah guides whom He wills and misguides whom He wills? Here is an example of a very misunderstood verse in the Quran. And we never sent a messenger save with the language of his own folk, that he might make the message clear to them. Then Allah sends whom he wills astray and guides whom he wills. He is the mighty, the wise. This is found in Surah 14, verse 4. People will tend to argue that Allah misguides people, and therefore when the people are misguided, they don't have free will. And that is actually Allah's fault for them being misguided, and that Allah would be unjust for punishing them. However, let's read the Quran in context so that we can better understand what this verse is saying. I won't be appealing to any commentaries because once someone reads the Quran in context, he could easily understand what the verse is saying. Say, it is a truth from the Lord of you all. Then whoever wills, let him believe, and whoever wills, let him disbelieve. Lo, we are prepared for the disbelievers a fire. Its tent encloses them. If they ask for showers, they will be showered with water like to molten lead, which burns the faces. Calamitous the drink, and ill the resting place. In the Quran, chapter 18, Verse 29. Also, say, I ask of you no reward for this. Say that whosoever will may choose a way unto his Lord. Quran 25, 57. And again, lo, this is a reminder. Let him who will then choose a way unto his Lord. Quran 73, 19. Also, Nay, but verily it is an admonishment. So let whoever will pay heed to it. Quran chapter 80 verses 11 to 12. Here we clearly see that people have a free will to believe or disbelieve in God and to choose the straight path unto the Lord. And for those who strive in us, we surely guide them to our paths. And lo, Allah is with the good. Quran twenty nine sixty nine. Allah is clearly telling us that we need to struggle hard in order to find a path to Him. Allah will only guide those who actually struggle to be guided. If Allah had already predestined or predetermined who would go to hell and heaven without giving us free will, then it would be useless for Allah to tell us to strive to be good. So here it is clear that Allah guides those who strive and put an effort and who want to be guided. We find in the Quran, If you are thankless, yet Allah is independent of you, though he is not pleased with thanklessness for his bondsmen. And if you are thankful, he is pleased therewith for you. No Latin soul will bear another's load. Then unto your Lord is your return, and he will tell you what you used to do. Lo, he knows what is in the breast of men. Quran chapter 39 verse 7. Allah is saying that he is not pleased with those who are thankless to him. It would not make sense for God to misguide those people intentionally without giving them free will so that they can go and do what he does not like. As Allah states in the Quran, and the law has created the heavens and the earth with truth, and that every soul may be repaid what it has earned, and they will not be wronged. Quran forty five twenty two. God will judge those people according to the deeds that they have done and according to what they earn. They will not be judged unfairly. So God judging them by what they earn shows that human beings have free will to do evil if they are judged to be evil, and therefore it is no one's fault but their own. Those who deny our revelations and the meeting of the hereafter, their works are fruitless. 
Are they requited all save what they used to do? And the folk of Moses, after he left them, chose a calf for worship, made out of their ornaments of saffron hue, which gave a lowing sound. Saw they not that it spake not unto them, nor guided them to any way? They chose it and became wrongdoers. The Quran chapter 7 verses 147 to 148. Another verse. And whoso brings an ill deed, such will be flung down on their faces in the fire. Are you rewarded? Ought save what you did? Quran 27 verse 90. Lo, now verily you taste a painful doom. You are acquitted, not save what ye did. Quran 37, 38 to 39. Whoso does right, it is for his own soul. And whoso does wrong, it is against it. And afterwards, unto your Lord, will ye be brought back. Quran 45, 15. Another. The day when they are thrust with a disdainful thrust into the fire of hell. And it is said unto them, This is the fire which ye were wont to deny. Is this magic, or do you not see? Endure the heat thereof, and whether you are patient of it or impatient of it, it is all one and the same for you. You are only being paid for what you used to do. Lo, those who kept their duty dwell in gardens and delight, happy because of what their Lord has given them. And because their Lord has warded off from them the torment of the hellfire. And it is said unto them, Eat and drink in health as a reward for what you used to do. So again, clearly we see that the sinners are punished for what they did. It is their fault and no one else's. And on the day when he shall gather them together, when it will seem as though they had tarried but an hour of the day, recognizing one another, those were verily had perished who denied the meeting with Allah and were not guided. Quran chapter 10 verse 45. Also, await, they ought say that the angels should come unto them or thy Lord's command should come to pass. Even so did those before them Allah wronged them not, but they did wrong themselves, so that the evils of what they did smote them, and that which they used to mock surrounded them. Quran 16 verses 33 to 34. And whoso does right, it is for his own soul, and whoso does wrong, it is against it. And thy Lord is not at all a tyrant. To his slaves. Quran 41 verse 46. Again we see that Allah is not to be held responsible. But the sinners are for their own sinful actions. That they willfully chose to commit. So who are the people that are misguided? Lo, Allah disdains not to coin the sinner to even of a gnat. Those who believe know that it is the truth from their Lord. But those who disbelieve, they say, what does Allah wish to teach by such a similitude? He misleads many thereby, and he guides many thereby. And he misleads thereby only the divinely disobedient. Quran chapter 2 verse 26. Say, I am forbidden to worship those on whom you call instead of Allah. Say, I will not follow your desires. For then should I go astray, and I should not be of the rightly guided. Quran chapter 6, verse 56. If thou obeyest most of them on earth, they would mislead thee far from Allah's way. They follow naught but an opinion, and they do but guess. Quran chapter 6, verse 1, 16. A party has he led aright, while error has just hold over another party. 
For lo, they choose the devils for protecting supporters instead of Allah, and deem that they are rightly guided. Quran chapter 7, verses 30. Allah confirms those who believe by a firm saying in the life of the world and in the hereafter. And Allah sends wrongdoers astray. And Allah does what he wills. Quran chapter 14 verse 27. Whoso is blind here will be blind in the hereafter. And yet further from the road. Quran chapter 17 verse 72. Against him is written down that whoever takes him, the devil, for a friend, he shall lead him astray and conduct him to the chastisement of the burning fire. Quran 22 verse 4. Or deemest thou that most of them hear and understand? They are but as cattle, nay, but they are further astray. Quran 25 verse 44. And it becometh not a believing man or a believing woman, when Allah and his messenger have decided an affair for them, that they should after that claim any say in their affair. And whoso is rebellious to Allah and his messenger, he has verily goeth astray in error manifest. Quran chapter 33 verse 36. And say, Our Lord, lo, we obeyed our princes and great men. And they misled us from the way. Quran chapter 33 verse 67. And so when they turned away from the path of Allah, Allah turned their hearts away from the right path. And Allah guides not the people who are rebellious, disobedient to Allah. Quran chapter 61 verse 5. So we see that Allah misguides those wrongdoers who are truly misguided by their own actions that they will willingly choose to commit. Allah is omniscient and therefore knows in advance what their free will actions would be. Therefore, Allah misguides them. However, Allah only misguides those who willingly commit wrong and have earned to be labeled as disbelievers and to go to hell. And indeed, Allah knows best. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.